This time I'm going to show you how to make multi-layered tassels. It's such a cool project with so many cool uses. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com. For a list of supplies and more information on the project, visit the website or see the description. Let's begin. Just cut up a small board that's a little longer than the intended finish size of your product. In my case, I'm gonna do a two inch square and I just folded up some cardboard. Then take your scissors and you're gonna make a little slit on the bottom. And then go ahead and get your fiber. In my case, I'm using floss. And you need to cut three long strips. In my case, I'm gonna use 12 inches. And um, you're gonna see me cut only two in the video, but you do need three. So go ahead and cut three pieces. And then my particular floss is almost nine yards. So I'm gonna secure it to the bottom and then I'm going to go around my little board about a hundred times, which is the whole length of my floss okay and once you've done that then you're going to take one of the three strands and you're going to thread your needle finish feeding the thread through the needle and then you're going to fold it in half and at the very tip you're going to make two knots this is just to make sure that you don't have any issues. Try to get it as far down to the tip as you possibly can. And then take your needle and from the top, you're gonna feed it through and then make a knot and make it nice and tight. You're gonna release your thread from the cardboard and then cut. And that's gonna open up um, your strands. Just tighten that knot really, really good and open up um, your strands so that they're flat. You're gonna make this really tight and once you feel that it's tight enough, then go ahead and make a second knot to secure it and tighten everything up. And in my case, I like to make sure that all of my strands are nice and neat. And so I take a comb and I comb them out, especially if it's been wound up. Sometimes the fibers get kind of wrinkled then take another strand and make like a loop. And then with the other part, wrap it around the little head that you make when you fold it in half about four times. And then take that tip and put it through a loop and tighten it to make a knot. Take the other side and make a, another knot. Just a basic one. It'll be secure enough. And then get your scissors and you can cut off the top. And as you can see, my needle is at the bottom. I'm now gonna cut all of these uneven strands and that'll cut the needle as well, which is in the middle. And the knot is also in the middle to make the tassel look nice and neat. And then I comb it one more time to make sure that it's all the same length and give it like a little haircut, neaten everything up. You're done with your first one. Now you can make more of them, as many as you like. In my case, I'm just gonna make two more. And now to connect them, I'm gonna get another strand of yarn. Um, in my case, I'm sorry, um, floss. And as you can see, it matches the one I'm going to put at the top, which is the green one. Just like before, I'm gonna make two knots and I'm gonna push them down as far down to the tip as I possibly can. And then I'm gonna start first with the one I want at the bottom, which in my case happens to be the red one. This is the one that I want at the bottom, so that's the one I start with. And I open it up so that I can get to the middle. And I feed the needle through it to the little tip of the head, and then I make a knot there now some folks will put a bead I don't but if you like you can now I go to my second one and just like before I'm going to spread the five the strands of yarn and put the needle right through the middle bring it up to the tip of the little head of my tassel and pull up that bottom one and just like before I'm going to put my needle through that top right there and make a knot to secure the bottom and now I'm gonna take, in my case, the last one, because I'm only gonna make three 
layers. You can make four, five, 10, 15, you know, whatever works for you. Find the middle again to the top and then I'm gonna feed my needle through that very tip. And just like before, I'm going to secure um, the thread. Now, you're basically finished. In my case, like I said, I want to put a little cap on mine. So I'm making sure that my needle was going to fit and there you have it, it's right through there. And then I'm gonna put a closed jump ring. Now this allows you to attach your tassel to whatever project you want, whether it be a key ring um, or a lobster hook, whatever it is that you want. And this is optional, you don't need to do any of the last bit that I'm doing. I push my needle back through the bottom just to make sure that everything is secure. And then um, I can cut the little uh, needle that's threaded off and I am done. There you have it, my multi-layered tassel. I comb it just to make sure everything looks nice and neat. Plus, I don't know, I find it kind of fun to comb this. Um, if you have any kids at home, I bet they would love to do this. It's like combing a little doll. In fact, they kind of look like little dolls to me. So that's another thought, um, another way to use them. And I'm done. And um, you could go crazy with colors, school colors, flag colors, all kind of colors. And like I said, you can use this project to make many more. Well, thanks so much for watching the video. Remember to share it and like, comment, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe.